Give yourself a lazy day. In our practice centers, we have a lazy day on Monday every week. Pei has been advised to call it a rest day because the idea of laziness has a negative social connotation. But he insisted on keeping this name. Pei once shared that of all the many titles and honors he had received, he enjoyed the title of lazy monk the most. To practice being lazy, choose a day in the week or an hour in the day that you can simply be. With the attitude of nowhere to go and nothing to do, you can enjoy sitting or lying in a hammock or on a rocking chair, underneath a shady tree, or even more lazily on your bed. You may find that being lazy is actually not easy. Breathe, smile, and relax. Here are some mantras you can say lazily to yourself to remind yourself you can let go of the habit of doing. I can simply be. Thank you. I love you. I'm so blessed. This is not so bad. You can also do what you enjoy most. If that means staying in bed a little while longer, reading your favorite book, making a nice breakfast, drinking tea or lemonade, going on a hike, whatever gives you joy. Eat your meals mindfully and lazily, savoring every bite. Keep your lazy day simple with minimal plans and activities, with no goal or anything to strive for. On weekends and on vacation, many of us fill up our itineraries and return from them exhausted. Definitely do enjoy a lazy day so that you can be truly rested at the end of your free time. A lazy day or a lazy hour can be enjoyable and replenishing, allowing your mind to be spacious and creative later on when you go back to your tasks. In the true spirit of aimlessness, you can live your life and do what you need to do, but you are actually resting in nirvana. Every moment that your mind rests brightly and peacefully in the here and now, it is a delicious, lazy moment, a moment of nirvana. <laughs>